What is going on, everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. I have some boxes to open with you guys today. We got one, we got two, and we got three packages. I have been sitting on a couple of these for like a week, just waiting to come out here and do a video so we can unbox them together, guys. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please, please take some time to do so and check out all the awesome links below, including how you can support the channel for only $3.99 a month by becoming a Patreon member via patreon.com. Uh, we will be announcing the first Patreon contest winner roughly over a week, guys. So if you aren't uh, subscribed via Patreon yet, you can do so by the end of the month to be entered into that contest. You can also check out the link for Official Journals Comics merch, right? And then I also wanted to make a quick announcement to say that I will be announcing my Road to 5,000 subscriber contest very soon uh most likely you know in the next two or three weeks very excited about that we also have a comic book canon contest that we will be announcing later this week again check out comic book canon in our link below for our friday night live shows guys all right let's get into this guys we got three three packages i remember what at least one of them is not too sure about the others and uh, i'm thinking maybe maybe more off of the 20 21 want list. Let's see. Let's let's do this one first. Let's do this one first. Let's save the uh, mailers. And let's do the bubble package first. I think, is this from um, my comic shop? Because I know I bought something on my comic shop that was a um, consignment. So it, you know, it was from a third party... Uh, individual seller but it was from the website it wasn't from ebay and the one thing that sucked about that it was still a, a great price but you can't piggyback shipping you know so for those that use my comic shop if i do a previews order you know uh, months ahead and i have that previews order sitting if i go in and order any books i can add it to that shipment with not adding any more shipping charges and then I just get it all together. This one, for consignment books, you don't have the option. It has to sep uh, it has to ship separately, and you got to pay the five dollars shipping, whatever. But it's quite all right. Very nicely packaged there with painters tape. <laughs> Let's get this out. We got a little label on the back here. What's that say? I can't see because the painters tape is in the way. This painters tape is like heavy duty painters tape. I don't want to give it away yet. I got to turn this around like this. Oh, no. Okay, this is not from my comic shop. This is from eBay. Oh, man. It, it, it's a beauty. It, yeah. it looks better in person than it did in the pictures, if you ask me. All right, guys. This is a book off of the 20. 21 want list. I, I promise you guys, next time I do an unboxing where there might be a 2021 20, want list, I'm going to bring an actual written out list and I'm going to show you guys because I know you guys have been wanting updates. Hey, how many have you gotten? What do you have left? And so forth. I will do that next time. But for now, let's just look at this beauty, guys. This one was uh, something that I didn't think I would grab as soon as I did, but I did it. And it's Batman number 237. First appearance of the Reaper. Beautiful Neil Adams artwork. Look at that. Um, this is a decently priced book, right? Early Bronze Age Batman, uh, Neil Adams run, just in general, are, you know, they command a bit of money. First appearance of, of Reaper commands a bit more. Uh, this is definitely a mid-grade, um, lower mid-grade. Let's take it out of the bag and look. But for what I got this, I, I was this a bid? I'm pretty sure it was a bid. And I set my um, highest bid in there. And I won it. Now you can see the square bound spine is no longer square bound. And that's all right. I mean, it's not perfectly flat, but I don't know. It's actually, it's pretty flat. <laughs> it, it, it seems like it's a standard spine. But um, I mean, look at this. It still presents really well. It's got a lot of gloss still. Um, it's going to get a cleaning and a press, you know, it's got some color breaks 
in the corners up here. It's got wearing around the edges. It's got a bit of a color uh, break right through here. Um, and, you know, more wear along the edges down there. Uh, you can see this kind of bend right here. I could press that out because that doesn't color break. But, but still a lot of gloss. That orangey red in the background really pops still. Um, you know, spine uh, ticks as well as a flattened square bound. Um, and it's also, it also has what looks to be manu a manufacturing uh, kind of a crease where it's like the page got layered on top of itself. I don't know if you guys can see that right there and right there. That's definitely manufacturing. Um, yeah, it's got it right here in the front too. Look at this. This is not a color breaking crease. It's a, it's a flap over. I don't know what the, the technical term to call it is, but it's right. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Um, but yeah, uh, pages are nice on the inside. Look at this. Beautiful. And it's fully on the staples. Yep. Fully on the staples, although there's rippage. Um, man, I mean, it, it's tough. It's tough because of the square bound spine. I would like to call this book a 4.0 but with the flat square bound spine i honestly don't know how that would grade at like cgc or cbcs i don't so that's where i'm gonna you know i'll, I'll throw my i mean i'll throw my 4.0 out there as a rough estimate but if i ever bring this into grade grade to get graded i wouldn't be surprised if it got a little lower just because of that spine uh but like i said i am gonna press it and clean it and get it looking a little more uh, decent. But very, very happy with that for the price I paid. I can't remember the price off the top of my head. But there it is, guys. Again, a you know mid-grade, lower mid-grade, presentable book. I'm all good. It's going to look beautiful after the press and after it's thrown in some Mylar. All right, let's, let's go into this. Okay, this is the book that I was thinking of from... My comic shop, that was a consignment. Ah, these, these are tough to open. That was um, shipped separately and I had to pay the $5 shipping. <laughs> and as always, my comic shop always packages their, their books extremely well. All right. Although they use um, packaging tape to take the book down and I kind of hate that. <laughs> you guys know me. I talk about that a lot. But that's okay. We'll make do. Oh my goodness. I guess we won't make do. I got to pull the knife back out. All right. <laughs> oh man. Okay. You know, it, it's funny. For some reason, I was, I've was i been eyeing this book. And it's not even in a bag. It's in a... I mean, obviously it's in a bag. But it's not in a combo book bag. I don't know what this thing is. I have been eyeing this for a while and I didn't put it on my 2021 want list for some reason. And I found this again as a consignment on my comic shop for decently lower than what the books had been going or are going for on eBay over the last couple of months. Now this character, there's some speculation around this character in the MCU and I, I, I believe I was the first to report it. <laughs> I mean, look, other people can, can have the theory too, because obviously I didn't report it and, and, you know, people hopped onto what I was saying. I just knew that before I heard anything about this being a possibility, this is the way I was thinking. Um, and that is Mighty Avengers 62 or the Avengers 62, uh, first appearance of Umbaku, Man 8. Uh, this is a beautiful, you know, kind of higher mid-grade copy, guys. Um, so basically, again, I, I talk about this with the sad heart still when Chadwick Boseman passed and everyone just hopped on the high train. Oh, Shuri. And first off, again, my sentiments, just let the man rest, right? Why are we even worried about a movie? But um, I immediately thought, yeah, Shuri, I'm sure at some point in the MCU was going to pick up the mantle of the Black Panther. But I'm going to call it to be Umbaku first and my theory was that Mbaku is going to take the throne and take um Shuri's hand in wedlock and they will rule together 
and they will both carry the mantle of Black Panther and she will have him as you know uh, uh that that influence to to train and to prepare her to to be a you know more savage Black Panther war it's not savage but uh sound Black Panther warrior you know somebody that can actually you know go toe to toe with with big baddies um so that's why I was looking at this book that kind of theory of Umbaku taking the the Black Panther mantle obviously has been spread around uh is well outside of me thinking it so uh the book has definitely gotten more hype around it uh it's it's been increasing in value and I I paid um $65 for this book guys and they label this as a fine but again I I just will take this out of the bag I think um my comic shop does a very good job I'm gonna take the tape off of this one they do a very uh conservative job when it comes to grading their books most of the time sometimes you know, it is what it is, but other times I feel they are definitely conservative. Let's, oh, that board is nice and tight in. I can't even take the board out. All right, so let's look at this. Beautifully flat. I wonder, no, I was going to say, did this book get a press before? But I usually can tell, and just with the what's going on in the corner, I don't think so. So, so they call this a, a, a fine, uh, what, like 5.5. I Just looking at this, I'd call this a 6.0. Um, and I can press this up and it might even get a, a 6.5, but it's got a little roughage on top and it's got a little bit of color breaking and wearing of the corner right there. The spine is clean. I mean, there's a little bit of color break right above the bottom staple. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's clean, man. There's no real, there's a spine tick right there that doesn't break color. Super clean. I can't wait to press this up. The back is really smooth, sharp corners. Of course, it look pretty sharp down here too, but uh, you know a little wear and a little wearing around the corners of the spine. I would, man, I would call this book a six point five, and this can this is gonna press up nice, nice, you know, decently white pages. I don't know, I'd still say off white to white, but um, this is a beautiful book. I mean, you right now, just off the top of my head, I would say good luck finding. Good luck finding a fine for, you know, under $100 right now. So anywhere from like a 5.5, 5.5 to 6.0, I, I, I doubt you could find one for the most part for under $100. So I thought this was a very good deal. Very good deal. I mean, I was watching a couple that sold right around the time I bought this that sold one sold for like 90 something dollars and it was like probably a 4.5 very very happy to have this book i can't wait to see what happens in black panther 2 even though i'm going to be devastated at the same time because we will not have our t'challa <sighs> all right guys one more <laughs> let's see this is the one that i don't i don't know what this is i do not know what this is all right. It feels like more than one book. So we shall see. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, painters. Green painters tape. Green's my favorite color. They must have knew. They must have known that I love painters tape. And that green's my favorite color. All right, guys. It is multiple books. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Are these taped? <sighs> oh no. They're in a big bag. They're in one big bag. I can't even open this guys. I'm struggling here. All right guys. Hey, if you guys haven't checked out my top 100 key comics to invest in for under a hundred dollars, check out that video. The first uh, 10 books are up. It's going to be a 10 part video series where we count down. I have 191 up now, guys. So go check that out. Oh yeah, that's what this is. Go check that out. Um, now the one thing that that video didn't have is a, is a percent in value increase or decrease comparison. 
So those 10 books, I just couldn't find the information on it. But every other um, book on the list from 90 to 1 is going to be a countdown of which book had the largest percentage of value increase over the last five years. All right. Very happy to have these books. And wow, these have been in these bags probably for a very long time. Old polyethylene bags. All right. You ready for it, guys? We have Crisis on Infinite Earths, number five. And then we have Crisis on Infinite Earths, number six, First Appearance of the Anti-Monitor. And the reason why I really got this lot. Yes. <laughs> Crisis on Infinite Earths, number eight, The Death of Barry Allen. So, so happy to um, finally have this book in my collection. I have, a, a I believe, the, the, the reprint that came, I don't know when it came out, some few years ago, I think. But um, I, I definitely think this book has a lot of p potential uh, long-term, long-term wise. I, really, this whole series, you know, um, you know, it's, 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 it's over 30 years old now. As we are in 2021, uh, the, 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 the series that ultimately ended the Bronze Age and began the Copper Age. This is just a sign of the times that we're, the future is now, guys. And these books, as, as they get older and older, I think they're going to definitely increase in value simply because of what they mean for their time period, right? Um, so I'm not talking about like movie spec or anything like that it's simply because these are awesome books that mean something to the hobby awesome story art and yeah so i mean these books are are, are decent what i don't i think i got these books for um know, like 20 bucks off the mercari app i won't take them all out of the bag but we'll look at this one new stand uh it's decent yeah this can definitely benefit from a press uh it's got a little bit of a spine uh, roll that can get flattened out not not really a couple of spine ticks few spine ticks but they don't really break color so i'm i'm all the spine ticks will get worked out in a press it's got some roughing roughage up here see that that can get worked out in a press and the edges are still decently sharp so i'm gonna press this up and you know i'm i'm gonna think that this book can at least get a 9.0 Maybe even more after a press. So, and I think all the books are in basically the same situation. It looks like these books may have been read a long time ago, and then were put in the bags and boards and, and just left there. So, really, really happy, guys. All right, there it is. That is my haul for today. Got some crisis books. Got some awesome Silver Age uh, Avengers first appearance of Umbaku. Nice hot spec on this book. And amazing, amazing early Bronze Age, Neil Adams, Batman, awesome first appearance of the Reaper. Cross that off the 2021 want list. Can't wait to press up some books. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys thought of my pickups today. Let me know if you have any of these books, if you guys have been eyeing any of these books. And of course, please, guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, take some time to do so. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you on the road to 5,000 subscribers, and check out all the links below. Be well, guys. Until next time. Yeah. Nobody talking about getting money.